for the drums. A uh, pair of original Neumann U87s. Not, not reissued ones, vintage ones. Um, the kick was an AKG D12 and a vintage U47, Neumann U47. We've got some ATM 25s from Audio Technica on the toms. They're particularly good at rejecting cymbals but still having quite a full, snappy but full tone. A lot of toms that are super important in the, uh, in the pieces. The snare top mic is a Bayer 201. And the snare bottom mic is an old Octava small diaphragm condenser. The front of the kit mic that I, I hope you can see is an old RCA ribbon mic, which when you listen to it just on its own has an awesome representation of the whole kit. A little bit of strength in the, the middle of the stereo spectrum. You might notice it's not in front of the kick because it was picking up a straight line between the middle of the kick, the snare with one tom on one side and the other tom on the other. And then hidden off in the corner are a pair of Octava MK012s I think they are in omnidirection with an omnidirectional capsule. There's a pair of them so that we could get a little bit of stereo wideness. The suggestion from the uh, mighty Steve Albini himself. And we've put them on the floor, which has actually worked out great in rejecting symbols but catching a lot of the shells of the kit. We've got a lot of low end out of them that we've been relying on to have a bit more weight to the kick and the bottom of the tiles. And that's the drum setup. Fat sound.